Okay, Saran, uh, Mark Gaughan from the Buffalo News. Uh, two questions. One, real quick, what uh, you, uh, Heath Farwell has, uh, you know, complimented you on uh, uh, this training camp. What makes, uh, what does it take to be a good gunner? Oh, the best thing of being a good gunner is basically using your speed, man. You know, out there, you know, it's a pretty tough job on that alley, you know, first probably got advice or, you know, single guy, but the best thing with that, you know, using my speed and my athletic ability to just get around guys and get down the field and make some certain plays. And then secondly, uh, and I'm sure some others will ask you about this, but uh, just playing cornerback this camp, uh, you know, how comfortable, what is the difference? How comfortable you are, are you this summer to maybe last August? Uh, I'm pretty comfortable. I was kind of comfortable last, um, well, you said last August. Well, last August, I was just coming into it and learning it. But yeah. now I'm pretty comfortable in a position knowing that my job is can be inside or outside or anywhere they put me. Right. Okay. Hey, Saran, kind of going off of Mark's question, uh, where do you think you're best used in this defense? I know this defense um, – is known for being versatile when you look at the defensive line and, and Micah and Jordan. So where do you think you're, you're best used? Uh, I think the best use is, to be honest, because I really never just focus on one position now because, you know, as Coach tell me, you got to learn inside, outside, and, you know, go in there at Buffalo Nickel too as well. So my, my main focus is to stay focused on all of them so when the opportunity comes, I'll be ready. Is there a certain player or a coach that's really helped you with that versatility when it comes to learning multiple positions? Um, pretty much the whole DB group, um, group coaches, you know, JB, um, Jimmy, and then plus you heard uh, the new guy on staff, um, Leonard, or whatever. He's, you know, pretty good on hands-on stuff, you know, with learning. You're basically learning what's tools and stuff on the inside and outside. So basically all of those guys as a group have been doing a great job. And then when did you find out that you'd be playing corner and, and safety this year? Was that something that once you guys got into camp or was it over Zoom meetings? Um, how did you find out or what was that conversation like? Uh, I pretty much knew about the outside probably the middle of the last year. You okay. know, as Coach JB came to me, he was like, you know, Serene, you know, you're a guy that can pretty much do everything. You know, you can go outside, you can go inside. So whenever the opportunity comes, you just be prepared. So basically, the middle of last year and really off season, you know, Coach Fraser really made me emphasize on like Saran, you know, you probably possibly have to play outside some games, so prepare for it. Appreciate it, Saran. Thank you. Hey, Saran, Matt Perino here. Uh, thanks for taking some time. You know, we've talked to a couple guys, you know, on the defense that have talked about, like, the competition level just being raised this year. What have some of these battles been like? It, you know, and we've seen, you know, just a few of them, but it seems like the intensity out there, you know, when you guys are going one-on-one -on -one or even in some of the teamwork, it's been, it's been ratcheted up quite a bit. Man, the, just that alone make us better players individually, you know, because you don't really – go to one, this guy or that guy, about what you can get from certain routes or whatever, and one-on-ones or, you know, defense or the offense. It's just like each guy is making everybody good. And that's something that I really honed in on earlier in camp. Like, oh, this year's competition is, like, really, you know, competitive. So each guy making each other better, and that's good for our team. With the questions that probably were there going into this thing with, you know, a shortened training camp and not a lot of time before the season starts, there probably was some concern about getting up to speed and the cohesiveness getting there quickly. Where do you guys feel like you are now here a little over a week out from the start of the season? Um, I think we're pretty prepared. Uh, that's with the competition level. These guys out here, they're hungry. And these def this defense and offense this year, you know, is very competitive. And, and actually, from what I'm seeing, like, I'm pr I'm, I think that we're really ready for the season, even though it's, you know, so close. Thanks, man. Hey, Saran, Sal Capaccio, WGR Sports Radio 550. Good to see you, man. I'm um, building off Matt's question a little bit, um, but I want to talk about Josh a little bit because we've heard a couple of people, including Leslie Frazier, say Josh has been making it tougher on the defense this year because of his decision making. As a guy who came into this league with Josh and, you know, you were rookies the same year, second year, and you know about the growth. What have you seen from Josh this year, maybe compared to the last two? Oh, uh, you know, you know, Josh is, you know, big arm strength guy. But one thing this year, 
Josh is getting better at, you know, look, you know, doing certain things, key snapping, really learning what defense guys in. Josh really grown as a quarterback and being a leader of that that side over there. So it's a lot of things that Josh have done and he have done his whole camp to really make us emphasize like he's grown this all season. Like things that he's doing is really making it happen. Saran Neal, a.k.a. Bam, Wookie right, Harkins, our full sports lady. What's going on with you? What's up, man? What's up? Hey, man, it's around that time again. And each year you have improved, uh, you know, being drafted, you know, three years ago, you know, with so much promise and, you know, things that, you know, you battled and, 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 and you led in special teams last year. And you end up playing all over the place. And, you know, it seemed like, you know, now, you know, how much has the game slowed down? Because, you know, you, you've been looking like, you know, the game is slowed down in, in training camp. The game is tremendously slowed down for me. Uh, now, just as, in, you know, Coach Sean McDermott said, for me and other guys, you know, into year three, like, it's taking the next step, actually seeing what's coming, actually trying to get your hands on more balls. So the game is tremendously slowed down for me. So as – me and other individuals at least late in our years now, it's time to really make plays. Now, how instrumental have Jordan Poyer and Micah Hyde been, you know, to your career at this point? Oh, man. Oh, those guys, man, they are really some key leaders on the defense. Actually coming in, drafted as a safety, you know, I came in and my head was spinning because it was so much. But, you know, those guys really, you know, Took me by the, you know, took me by the hand and was like, man, it's gonna be good. You very athletic, and things are gonna slow down for you. And once it slowed down, I really looked at those guys and I, you know, so I could thank them for that because they went through it. You know, John Poirier, you know, had a little tough career at the end of his season, you know, in Cleveland, and he, you know, it's certain things that you got to really look at and grow as an individual on this, you know, this team, especially the NFL. You know, NFL is definitely it's about growth. And if you can't grow, you know, you don't last that long. So one thing that they told me is like, it's all about growing. And that's one thing that I've been able to do. Well, not only that you're growing, man, you're blasting, man. Just keep it up and uh, good luck this season. Appreciate it. Hey, sir, I got one more question uh, for you. We talked to Levi Wallace a couple weeks ago, and he said that – sorry, my Siri is going off. <laughs> we talked to him a couple weeks ago, and he said that there's a different edge – to this defense he said there's like a win now emphasis uh with the guys this year so do you catch a different vibe to this defense now uh, that you nah. guys are through training camp for two weeks no nah, he's absolutely right and we seen it actually begin an account you gotta win this thing it's no other choice about it it's no other way and we actually can see it you know we see the light in the tunnel but we know what's the steps to get there now as a group that's grown together as when I got drafted, you know, the group now is basically the guys that have been here and the defense is actually one. You know, not saying that we haven't been one, but we actually growing as a defense and all our minds are coming together as one. So we really got one key and one key only, you know, to win it all. Is that coming from the confidence that you think you guys have in each other just being together for so long and also knowing that the offense has taken huge steps forward in the last few years? No doubt. No doubt. That's that's just something that I just know and I can feel like us as a unit. That's just something that we just know as a unit, like we have to do and that we will do. And definitely, like you just say, as the offense, they are growing tremendously. Like the battle this offseason with the offense, just let us know like what type what type of team that we got this year. And it's like eye opening, like wow, like we really that team, and we got the we got the chance to really do this thing this year. And that's one thing that I really see right now. Like, this team this year is something different. And we're going to take the steps. And we're going to take one game at a time. But we, we definitely hit this year, for sure.